Hello there, it's Terry Britton, and a lot of people have been asking me how to get voice meter to work with the Hangouts on air in such a way that you don't send the Hangout audio back out into the broadcast stream. So I'm going to show you all that kind of thing. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is go get voice meter and type in V-O-I-C-E-M-E-E-T-E-R. And a very tip-top item will be the voice meter uh, program. And so... Uh, Scroll on down, you can download it right here, or you can get a little further. Don't read this stuff and get confused now, just go past that and uh, go trying to stay on point getting a hangout. So you download it here. You might want to make a donation if this becomes useful. 10 or $25 euro is uh, 13 to $30 US, okay? So uh, make a donation. Uh, and there's also a voice meter user manual right here. You want to right click and save link as. Um, and have that thing available. It's got three loose use cases that are very useful to read later, and including how to use Skype and Google Voice and stuff like that. These videos are good. Um, one of them is mine. And uh, yeah, this one he was using it with OBS, which I'm doing actually right now. I'm using it with OBS. And so, uh, but the main thing is get this program and go to your. Uh, after you unzip it, you'll be in a folder, and similar to this VB cable thing, you right-click on it. Since it's a driver, you run as administrator. So that's a very important item right there, is that you run as administrator because it's a driver install, okay? And just uh, prove that you're allowing it to install as a driver. Uh, you're also going to go get the virtual audio cable, or if you make a donation, you can get virtual audio cable A and B, as I have. And... Uh, so let's go to that page. You won't need the Hi-Fi cable unless you're doing a digital audio cable, um, digital audio workstation. You just need this virtual cable. And don't read these configuration things because it'll just confuse you compared to what we're doing. Uh, download it here and install it same way. Run as administrator after you unzip as you just saw me do. And we're off to the races. Okay. So uh, now let's go ahead and here's a here's a hangout already started hasn't been broadcast yet but uh, so you see the gears and everything but before we get to that we have to go down to this little speaker icon down here in the bottom see that down here in the lower left right by the clock right click on that and click playback devices okay so let's bring this out to the middle uh, scroll on down with the playback right click on your voice meter input and similar to what I'm doing here, it'll say set as default device, select that, and also set as default communications device. Choose both, that way you'll never get anything conflicting. Another really important thing to do because it's a hangout on air is to uh, make sure everything in your system, all of these inputs, make sure all of them are set to 16-bit 44.1. So they're all the same, okay? The reason for this is that hangouts on air are not consistent in the bitrate and sample rate that they're using just like you've seen the picture deteriorate and then suddenly get back to really sharp uh, because it's adjusting the quality based on your line quality of your signal you know in your internet cabling and and the internet as a whole so it's constantly adjusting the settings well that really messes with voice meter and so the first thing we're going to do to try to combat that and getting clicks and pops or distortions after a time when it suddenly changes things on us is we're going to make all of these the same. So you double click on this and go to advanced and make sure all of these drop downs are set to 16 bit 44.1. If you've got devices that are like uh, HDMI like this one was, it'll be set to like 24 bit 48 set it to 16 44 this is just for HOAs you can set it back or try some other things but this our experiments we found that this has worked best at making the system stable so then we're going to go to the recording we're going to do the same thing over here we're going to right click on the voice meter output and get that green uh, green thing there just like you've got on the playback where you've got the green check mark okay so uh, Again, it's similar to what I'm doing to the one above it. Set as default device and set as default communications device. And you'll see the green check mark. In fact, let me set mine as default communications. There we go. And, uh, and set all the uh, recording devices to 16-bit 44.1.
Okay, so that's, that gets you going in a big way. And as you can see, my meter's running because I've got this set up this way. Alrighty, so now that we've got that happening, let's bring up voice meter and take a look at that. Now, the first thing you do when you start up voice meter, before you do anything else, is you go and set the A1. You have to have an A1 assigned. You'll notice that there's a bunch of different types of output. WDM, this is the Wasapi Windows 7, Windows 8 uh, audio system. It's very sensitive though to this changes in the quality and the line quality changes that the Hangout on Air is throwing at it. So we can't really use it because you throw a change mid signal at it and it distorts everything, it just knocks everything off. And you can get clicks and pops and things. Same problem with the KS. It's, it needs digital consistency for both of these types. MME, which is the old media system going all the way back to Windows 98, I think, uh, it can tolerate this kind of changes on the fly a lot better. So we're going to pick an output device, in my case my headset, as the MME type of output, okay? It's just much better to select a A2 device, do the same thing, select an MME device. And then you go over to your inputs and select your microphone, and again, an MME device, okay? Because we wouldn't have to do this if it wasn't for Hangouts changing the settings on us on, <laughs> while we're running, okay? So s select that, and then, oops, there we go. Oh, and this allows you to go make a donation. Okay, and uh, then select this hardware input, the MME version of your cable, of your virtual audio cable, okay? In my case, I've got the cable A and B, so I selected the MME version of cable A. All right, so now I'm all set, as far as inputs go, to set up my uh, Hangout uh, inputs and outputs, but also I want to just make, just tell you this little thing about what the virtual input is. This is where your system sounds are coming in. So this is where your media player and your video uh, from your browsers, any browser audio, um, pretty much any audio that you have on your system um, is going to come in through here. And so we'll get to explaining how we're routing this stuff in just a second. But you see how we're not sending, we're not going to send the Hangouts audio of our other people talking here because we want this to go back out to them. We're going to send it here instead. And the way we do that is right over here with the gear and we set this thing so that it's uh, so that the microphone instead of being just my microphone in my headset I change it to be the VB voice meter output okay and for my speakers instead of playing back right to my headset I set it to go to the voice meter input okay so it's the output the speakers output is going to the input of voice meter so it can become a source however I just told you something wrong you should be spotting me you should be going no 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 Terry you did it wrong you're right me if you said so we want this to go to cable a because we don't want it going to the system sounds, which is basically what the voice meter input is, okay? We're sending it to cable A, and that way we can monitor it separate uh, and from the system audio. Okay, so that's the big secret right there. And uh, then when you do your, 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 your sound, you will see that it's, uh, it's sending to the correct thing. Let's see if I can get voice meter visible on the screen. So there you go. You see that? So there was the voice meter thing. All right, so then you hit save and you're off to the races. Okay, so back to voice meter, we have the routing. We've got our microphone coming in. We don't want to have to listen to it. So think of A is audit and B is broadcast. This is the easiest way to think of it. And we have these two hardware inputs. So uh, we're, gonna, we're not going to audit the microphone because you'll hear that little bit of delay and it'll drive you absolutely crazy hearing this little delay of your voice. So just turn that off so it doesn't go to your headset. Okay? And that'll go out to the A1 which you selected on this slider here. This first slider is your audit slider. And the second slider is your broadcast. Think of B as broadcast. This is out to the hangout or to the recording or whatever you're doing. Okay? And so we do want a mic to go out to the B to be broadcast. So we have the broadcast set and turned off the audit there. We don't want to be broadcasting 
our Hangout back out to itself. So we're just auditing that, and we turned off the broadcast on that. And we have independent volume control on this slider here. So we can change the volume that we're listening to other people on. And for incoming sounds, our system sounds, a video, a media player, uh, special effects sounds, crashes and bells and all that kind of stuff, and hand claps, we, uh, we want to be able to monitor that and send it out to the broadcast. So we have both A and B selected here. And again, here's our levels output. And we have an equalizer and everything on there, so you can change the EQ of the audio. Uh, one trick is that you can have music running and but turn down its mid-range all the way and it that takes the takes the same the conflicting part of the signal in the music that's competing with your voice out of the out of the stream so your voice since it's in the middle range, mid range by removing the mid-range from the music it makes it so you can have music playing at a fairly appreciable volume and still have your voice be very very audible okay also you can compress a little bit using these audibility sliders but uh but so that's just a little trick i saw to throw in uh so again we have only broadcasting the mic only auditing the hangout and both auditing and broadcasting the system sounds the various audio that we bring in out to the hangout Okay, so that's the whole secret sauce right there of how to make this all work. And uh, let me know in the comments how it works for you. Now, if you're still getting clicks and stuff like that, as with all Hangout on Air things, you should always restart your computers uh, so that you don't have any residual projects that your computer is trying to get done, like updates or checking for updates, which it has timers that makes it suddenly kick in trying to do those things after a set period of time. So restart, so all those timers are reset to zero and it won't even begin to try for an hour or so. And, uh, and also you might want to go down to where your system tray is and just right click on various things and, and turn them off. Okay, like uh, just hit exit and turn off as many things as possible. And uh, and that way you'll have as few things running in the background as possible. You can go as far as going into your task manager here and messing with things that you find in there. But, uh, but that's up to you to experiment with what happens and what works and what doesn't. Uh, you can't really break anything in there just by shutting stuff off. But you may have to restart your computer to get things back to normal again. Okay, I hope that's really helpful and uh, that you've got a useful bit of information and can get running. Uh, we're going to do some experiments trying to bring a Skype call into a Hangout uh, in the next videos. And for that, though, I'm going to use the new version of VoiceMeter, VoiceMeter Pro, because it has an extra hardware input and an extra uh, virtual output that we're going to try. We're going to mess around and try to figure out how we can bring a Skype caller in so that the audience can hear the both sides of the call, but the guy on the, in the Skype call is not hearing himself, themselves, repeated back to themselves. So that's, again, probably going to require bringing in a second cable or using the new version of VoiceMeter, it has an extra input and a second virtual input also. It has a, not they call it virtual input aux. So it has a whole second slider bank on this side that we're probably going to try to employ. But that's another more complicated project. Right now we have it covered for getting a Hangout on Air in there where you can use system sounds and your mic and have no echoes and no annoying delays in your headset of your own voice. Okay, well, I hope that covers it. And as always, leave comments and questions below. And always check my description box because I put links to articles if I write them and uh, to drivers and all kinds of stuff in, my, uh, in the description box, okay, as I discover them. So always check down there and see if I've added anything. Okay, well, take care and uh, hope you have really good, good luck following this video. Later.